Hey there, CJ Math students, and welcome to day two of applying and calculating slope. Uh, so remember, our slope is the change in y or our change in rise over our changes in x or our change in run. So this is how we calculate slope. Now, when I give you two points like a and b, uh, basically you have to label those points first and then calculate the slope. Uh, so what you're going to do with this riddle um, is you're going to find the slope of all these lines and then in the next section find the slope of the points and cross off the answer when you get it. Uh, you'll be showing your work on the back side. So A, you have to say, again, I have to move left to right first, then up or down. So I move right one and then up positive one. So it's one comma one. And to get to B, I move right one, two, three, four, and up one, two, three, four, five. So four comma five. Left to right, up or down. So I go down on the back side and I say my coordinates are 1, 1, and 4, 5. And now I just do the slope formula. I like doing the second one minus the first one. So 5 minus 1 over 4 minus 1, right? And you get 4 over 3. So your slope is 4 over 3. You go back to the front side. You find 4 thirds. It's right here, IG, and you cross it off, right? What's remaining left over, you'll write in the boxes. Um, I'm going to skip 2. Number three, uh, I have to move, to get to A, I have to move left one, two, three times, so negative three times, and up one, two, three, four, five, so negative three comma five, and to get to B, I have to move right twice, one, two, and up twice, one, two, so two comma two. So go to number three and say negative three comma five and two comma two, so do uh, two minus five, over 2 minus negative 3, which gives you negative 3 over 5. There's your slope, negative 3 over 5. So now you're going to go ahead and look here. You get negative 3 over 5, it's right there, so cross off CK. All right, um, I'll do one more with you. I'll do number 5. I move right one time and up 1, 2, 3 times. So 1, comma 3, and then I move right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times and up 2. 5 comma 2. So 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 2 on number 5. Alright, and then I'll just do 2 minus 3 over 5 minus 1, which gives me negative 1 over 4. And so I'm looking for negative 1 fourth on the front side. And it's RI, so I cross off RI. Okay. The other problems are actually very simple. Um, you just need to make sure that you label stuff x1, y1, x2, y2, right? Um, and in doing so, uh, you're just going to be plugging these guys into the slope formula. So just make sure, oops, uh, make sure you are copying uh, these points exactly correct. Uh, double checking, flipping back and forth, and finding slope. So let's do number, say, 7 together. So 7, it's 2, 1, and 5, 3. So uh, we'll say x1, y1, x2, y2, and we'll do 3 minus 1 over 5 minus 2, right? I have to do the y2. I said I'm going to do y2 first, so that means I have to do x2 first on the bottom. So I get 2 over 3, and I go to the top. I find 2 thirds, and it's et, and I cross it off. All right, so basically that's all you're doing today. We have a couple more questions for you on Ed Puzzle. Um, go ahead and get to work. Um, for instance, on number eight, I'll ask you on Ed Puzzle. And number 16, I'll ask you on Ed Puzzle. And number 18, I'll ask you on Ed Puzzle.